today, on Explain It to a Five-Year-Old Week, um, I'm gonna explain to you a very magical story that has a lot of twists and turns, and it's really fun, and it's really great for kids. It's called Breaking Bad, and it follows this mild-mannered teacher named Walter White, who gets really, really sick one day. Really sick. And his family needs to have a lot of money so they can cure his sickness, and when he goes away, being really, really sick, they'll still have the money left over. But being a teacher doesn't pay a lot of money because of the way that the American education system is laid out. But that's a video for another day. Ask your kindergarten teacher about it. I'm sure they'll be totally glad to explain to you their paycheck. So he decides, with the help of a former student, that he's going to take up a secret identity. He's going to call himself Heisenberg. So Walter and his student sidekick, Jesse, decide that they're going to go far, far away, and they're going to go out to the desert, and they're going to cook candy together, and they're going to sell the candy in their area, so that way they can make a lot of money. So that way, no matter what happens, they'll still have enough to cure Walter's sickness, and if it doesn't work out, his family can still be very well supported. So there's other people who cook their own candy, and they don't like that Heisenberg is coming in and taking over their territory and taking all of their money and giving away all of his candy. So they try to stop him in a lot of ways. They try to do a lot of very not nice things, and they threaten his family, and they lock him in the trunk of a car, and they do all sorts of things. But Heisenberg always finds a way to get a leg up over them, more or less, because he's still really new to this. You ever do something new and you're not really too good at it, but then you sort of fumble around, and then you figure it out after you get some help? That's kind of what he does, except the help that he gets comes from a lawyer named Saul Goodman and a bunch of other people who try to help him out, but not all of them are around for as long as he would like, because there are people trying to get to him. Think of him like Peter Parker, right? You know, he kind of keeps to himself. He, he doesn't really do too much outside of his comfort zone. But then when Peter Parker turns into Spider-Man, he's all over the place and he's wacky and goofy. And that's kind of like Walter White and uh, Heisenberg, you know? He, he gets this secret identity and all of a sudden, you know, he's saying things he thought he would never say. And he's, he's blowing up buildings in order to get his money back. And he's doing all sorts of really bad things, but they're for good reason. So, it's okay, and his wife has to deal with all this, but she doesn't know that he's secretly Heisenberg, so he has to lie a bunch to her, and lying is not very nice, except if it's for good reason, which, in this case, it totally is. No, it's not. Um, you don't want to be like Walter White. He's like a very, very bad Batman. Sells candy. And, oh, and there's chicken! And there's a guy who sells chicken. And, um, and this was a lot easier to explain to a five-year-old than I thought. Um, moral of the story, um, if you're ever sick, um, lie to your family, uh, team up with someone who's maybe not in, not really known for having great behavior, and sell candy to people who really, really need it. But don't do drugs. And that's basically Breaking Bad. 